All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. And today we are checking in on Russell Wilson and his week two performance against the Washington Commanders. But before we jump into it, you football junkies, jump over to Patreon. It is more clips, longer breakdowns, plus free trial so you can try it before you buy it. Plus, it's a super affordable way to support the channel. I'm also a huge FTA guy, which means comment for the algorithm. Please like this video, and then hopefully by the end of this video, I will earn a subscription from y'all on YouTube. But guys, we're jumping into this one, and we're going to talk about like uh, the reality of how the Broncos keep finding a way to lose games. The Broncos and Russell Wilson, we just keep figuring out a way to squander good things when they happen. There are a lot of clips. There's a lot of good to start this game, as you could imagine. There's a lot of bad to finish this game. And then we're going to talk about that critical two-point play. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, team. We are starting off with a little read zone Russ here. Okay, so we got the motion across. Boom. Jerry Drew is selling this this way. We're gonna, we've are got our back coming across. And then we are going to wrap this tight end all the way around to seal. Russ is going to pull this one. And he is off to the races. Check this thing out. Boom. You can see everything. Do I know for sure if we're actually reading this guy on this play? No, right? Sometimes these are designed where it's, hey, we call it, like we call it to pull it, right? But either way, whether we called it to pull it or he read it, love this design, love the aggressiveness. This is the kind of stuff that it's like, man, we're seeing on these scripted drives. And then, yeah, we don't see it that much after. Okay, but look at the influence between the jet motion and the bat going this way. Look at this influence we get at this second level, too. That's what makes this thing so darn good. And then look at that tight end getting around. Russ able to get a huge gain and get out of bounds, which makes it even better, right? I know that sounds like a real quarterback guy thing to say. Hey, you got out of bounds, but it does make it way better, okay? Broncos score on the first drive. Then we come out and we say, you know what? You know what would make it better? We're going to go ahead and throw a shot play for a touchdown coming out of the gate. Look at this design, too. We're going to work inside, get vertical, pull this guy on the ultra high. Okay, this is where I'm guessing we want to put our eyes. When in reality, we're throwing this deep post over the top because we're trying to get this safety to get out of it. And then we're trying to let our receiver have all this room to run away from this guy, right? We've got it run action, meaning we're pulling the guard, right? Remember, run action is where we actually have a run play up front, a run look up front. Whereas play action, we have a pass pro up front and just the fate coming from our quarterback and our running back, okay? So we've actually got the run action called here, boom. You can see how we influence this guy up and now his eyes are here, which means this receiver has this entire field to work with really against this safety, okay? Russ gets aggressive and just delivers a freaking dime. Look at this, from the 30, 55-ish, 60 yards in the air. Big time, big time stuff from the Broncos. You gotta love the dance. You gotta love the dance. Look at it here, boom. When we're talking about it, right, you can see this pulling guy. We're making it look like a run play, right? With the puller, we're making it look like a run play. Javante, this is great. Great in the pass pro game. Great in the pass pro game. Russ steps up in the pocket and delivers a freaking shot, man. God, that's good. Okay, so right now Broncos up 14 to 3. Broncos are up 14 to 3. Things are, they're cruising. Okay, we've got another shot play here. We've just got the takeoff from a condensed set, right? We've got the takeoff from the condensed set. The commanders are getting to one robber. Look, we got the one here. He's going to be the robber, and then we're man across the board. Okay, we're man across the board. We got one robber coming down. Look at this. This safety, there's no way he can go make a play all the way over here. Russ knows that. Another great ball where he drops it in the bucket. Back to back, huge play from huge plays from Mims, too. Look at Russ in the pocket, man. Climb, climb, ball. Gosh. 
ladies and gentlemen. That is as good as it gets. You can't hand it to somebody better. Two, three, four, five. Hitch, hitch, ball. Drop it in the bucket. Great stuff. Okay. I love this. And I know nobody else is really going to get excited. We're going to watch it from the wide first where we get the QB sneak. Everyone's like, all right, Tim. It's a QB sneak. Okay. We're going to talk about why this is awesome. Why this is awesome is because it's fourth and two. We get up there. We hard count. Set up like 20, what, 20, hot, 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 hot. Okay. I guarantee this was a no play. Kill to QB sneak if we have the look. Russ is saying, listen, I can get the yardage through this gap right here. I'm going to kill, kill it, and we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to get the double team. We'll get the single push out. We'll get Russ in that gap. We'll get 82 pushing, and we'll pick up the first down. I love the aggressiveness. No play, kill, kill to QB sneak. Let's go ahead and just convert it. Okay, now we've got our shallow cross for a touchdown. Okay, you're going to see we're running shallow with the deep hank behind it. Really just mesh with the Seahawk behind it. Russ is going to do a really good job, three sink, and then just deliver it to a shallow who's his first progression, right? Really, he probably reads this thing one to two to three, okay? So he's hanging on that first progression, letting him get all the way across the field. Receiver does a great job of catching it and then getting into the end zone. I just think, man, how good is that? Look at that catch. Gets all the way across the field. Gets vertical. Scores. Love that one. Love that one. Love that one. This now is where the wheels officially start to fall off. Okay. And as someone who watches the Broncos with y'all every Sunday, it was depressing. Okay. This one, this is just kind of weird if I'm going to be honest with you guys, because it's like Russ gets tackled. I feel like Russ thought he was down because he doesn't really try to get up and get the football. But it's like, first and foremost, I want to go back to the wide because I want you guys to see this concept that we have dialed up. We've got this guy. It's just cross, right? Where you've got the crosser with the dig behind it. Look at this dig. I mean, coming wide open. Russ is already off his spot, so my expectation isn't that Russ hits this thing. I just wish he had a half second longer because I think he drills it. Instead, he gets in a scramble drill, and it's like we put the ball on the ground. I got to get to the tight because it just was weird, man. Look at this, where it's like Russ gets in a scramble drill, okay? At some point, we got to tuck the ball away or throw it away. And it's like it, it like almost seems like he feels like he was down because look at him, not like – no effort for the football. What are we doing? But that's why I feel like he thought he was down or something. It's like, I know that you thought you were down, but we still need to kind of like compete a little bit. I don't know. This one's a no grade, okay, but we've got the deep post. We got the dig. You can see just like we're getting pressured again, but my goodness. Can't make dig routes more open. Can't make dig routes more open. We're getting to this point where it's like Russ has to throw this away. Right? You're getting this kind of pressure in your face. You get off your spot. Go back. Got to throw it away. But goodness gracious. The other thing, too, is it's like, <laughs> yeah. All right. Third down ball. This one we got bad because... What happens here is we've got a great little concept going on where we're dressing all this stuff up just to get Jerry Judy open on this underneath sit route, okay? So we dress it all up. We're in the bunch set. We get Jerry Judy wide open. 
If we put this ball on him, Judy gets three more yards and we convert it. Instead, we put it way behind him. So Judy has to stop, come back. He falls over, gets up, and then we're short. So it's like, man, it's one of those plays that if you put on him as a quarterback, you convert. Instead, we throw a missile, and when you throw a missile and you're behind, it's hard on these receivers, man, because then they go down and they try to get back up and compete for it, and then they're short, okay? So that one, we need a better ball. This one, we need a better ball. This one, we got the simple. We got the speed out paired with the corner. It's just a modified version of smash, right? Normally smash, we have this guy outside running a hitch at the high school version. It's just, hey, we're dressing it up a little bit. This is the NFL, right? We got the out route. We got the smash corner behind it. He is wide open. Throw the ball out here. Throw the ball out here. Instead, we leave it inside. Ball almost gets picked off. Oh, man. My head itches watching this. It's so frustrating because that's just like such a, it's a layup. It's an absolute layup. Absolute layup and we miss it, okay? We are wide open if we throw it out here. I have no idea how that ball gets left inside. Let's go make sure this ball wasn't tipped or something. Because sometimes I like get pissed and then I go back and watch again. No, there's no shot in hell that got tipped. Just a bad ball. Flat out, terrible throw. This is just like, I don't even know where to begin with this. Corlin Sutton runs a go. Or is he, like, it looks like he kind of drops his hips. I don't know what Corlin Sutton is doing. Corlin Sutton's running a go. Russell's throwing him on a stop route. But, like, even the world in which that's a stop route, why are you throwing that, Russ? Like, hypothetically, if Corlin sits right here, it's still a terrible decision. I, I mean, what is going on? These are the kind of plays where it's just like, it's just like finding ways. It's just like everything was so exciting. And then we just find ways to give it away. Find ways to make this impossible. This I've got marked as bad-ish because it's like, is it truly bad? No. Do we want our quarterback to get neutered? No, we don't. Okay, we got to keep playing football. Look. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed those 10 clips. What you just saw was a little glimpse of clip 11, which is over on Patreon. We've got five more clips, 15 total clips in the breakdown over on Patreon. And again, we've got free trial. So you can try it before you buy it. Or if you're just looking for a way to support the channel, please jump over there and do that. It would mean the world to me. Guys, this Broncos team, they're just, yeah. It's just like the title says. They're just finding ways to lose football games. It doesn't matter if it was last season or this season. They're giving us a little bit of hope, and they are ripping our souls out. They're ripping our hearts out. It's unfortunate. I want to hear from y'all. Comment and tell me what you think is going on with this Broncos offense, with this Broncos team. And until next time, peace.